Okay, so CIBC, CM.TO, had a massive, massive quarter. Actually, it was better than expected, and all of the Canadian banks so far to this point in time have been outperforming this past quarter. Why is this? Well, of course, they're learning to make more and more money all the time. CIBC alone made 17% more this year than last year in the States. So, they're expanding, they're making more money, and that's always good. However, they're having a stock split, they have a very good dividend that they recently uh, raised up higher as well, uh, two quarters ago. This is a very attractive stock. It's currently trading at around $161. It is up $6 today, but it was down $5 yesterday, mainly because of the war that is currently happening. Its dividend currently sits at around 4%, and its average volume is 1.7 million shares, so it's very easy to get in and out of it. It is going to have a two-for-one stock split, which for those who don't necessarily know, or at least who are at least beginners when it comes to uh, investing, a stock split is when you essentially cut the stock price in half and you get two shares for every one share that you have. This is a very good tactic for companies to be able to have more investors to get into them, mainly because as an example, well, guess what? Let's say you had maybe $190 worth of money and, well, let's say right now at $160 a share, you'd only be able to get one share. Well, if you cut that down to $80 and you had $190 in your, in your pocket, well, now you can afford two and a half shares or even three shares if you were to get a little bit more money. And of course, that just allows more people to be able to invest and of course, more people or at least more money to go into the stock. So that means that there is a higher likelihood that there's going to be more people who are willing to invest in that company, or at least they get a couple of bucks more out of each investment opportunity. And when that happens, that means that the stock price could go even higher. And something that I've noticed is, of course, when I've seen previous stock splits, whether it be Tesla, Apple, anybody, is they're still going to be going up 1% or 2%, which means that, let's say, for example, it's now worth $80. Well, if it's not worth $80 and you're going up 1%, well, there's no difference as to going up at 1% at $80 a share versus 160. However, where there is a difference is now that let's say 80 cents where that it went up is now being split across more shares so that essentially later on down the road, you're actually technically, I, I guess you could say making more money, but it's just an artificial uh, stat that is there and the stock split really does nothing other than it making it it makes it easier for people to invest in that company as we can see it's been really performing well when it comes to the actual underlying stock price it was not doing so well before the virus it was basically trading sideways but pretty much every Canadian bank was doing the same except for National Bank. The stock price did plunge and I was buying an absolute ungodly amount all the way down. I even got it pretty well, I think it was like 50 cents off the bottom. That's why you want to buy a little bit at a time all the way down because then you can have a higher chance of timing the bottom. And then since then it has been climbing extremely high. A stock split is also very good when it comes to investors because that will show investors that that company has no plans or no foresight as to seeing the stock price go down. We've seen it with companies like ACB, Aurora Cannabis, where with that stock they did a consolidation, which means I think it was something like a 10 share into one share uh, consolidation, which is the opposite of a split. And when that happens, it artificially pushes the price of that stock higher because then it makes it either look like it's worth more money or it allows it to stay on a certain market or a certain exchange. Well, 
when it comes to a company like CIBC, which is a very solid company, and they're splitting their shares, they're lowering the cost of their shares, that just shows to the investors that they are very confident in the future over the next five to 10 years. So this could be a nice five to 10 year play. And there's that, st that dividend raise right there. And of course, before all of this stuff that was happening, we can see that there has been dividend raises in the past, usually about twice per year, sometimes three or even four times per year. So once all of this international stuff settles down, I would also think that they would start raising their dividend. I would assume, once again, every six months or even nine months Keep in mind, for a while, they were not allowed to raise their dividend, mainly because of the regulators in Canada. And like I was mentioning, they did beat their profit estimates, which is very important. And anytime that you see numbers like this, it's looking very, very good. We can see that, of course, net income, excluding one-off one items, increased to $4.00 and eight cents a share in three months ending January 31st compared to 358 a year earlier. Very, very good numbers from CIBC. They've also on capital markets, which is the surprise here, where CIBC's capital markets business also saw strong revenue growth up 11% from a year ago and 29% from the prior quarter while the stock market was essentially doing really weird things usually you don't see that when the stock market has a lot of negativity and then some positivity and then more negativity you don't usually see that when markets are, are doing that with banks so that's actually quite interesting in my opinion and they did declare a dividend of course coming up soon it'll be a dollar 61 per share and it will be payable on April 28th. And make sure to buy your shares if you're gonna buy any before March 28th, because that is the record date. If you've got shares on that date, you will get $1.61 per share. Even if you sell after March 28th, let's say you had, let's say 100 shares on March 28th, and then you sold 100 shares April 1st, you would still get that dollar 61 times 100 which is 161 dollars so like i have been preaching the canadian banks seem to be very very solid i was not expecting a fantastic number this quarter i was expecting kind of in line with the estimates and so far we've seen royal bank doing extremely well we've seen cibc do really well as well as national bank that's three out of the top six that have done extremely well in my opinion I wonder what the last three are going to do. We'll have to see. And of course, I hope that everyone please stay safe over in Ukraine. Uh, that is just going crazy. I have a lot of friends who I talk to over there and it's crazy.